Hello guys, welcome to my channel. March 31st, we have an update from DDL on Cosmo 2.0 and Vector 2.0. So don't go away. So guys, I like to give these updates because I know that many of you do not follow what's going on. It's also a bit hard to see sometimes on the DDL website. You have to dig a little bit to get the updates. So if you look at the past uh, few weeks, I did uh, updates on February the 4th, the 14th, March the 14th, and uh, February the 24th also. And I did all that because there were something new to present. And there is something new now, March, 20, March 31st, not 21st. And uh, I'm going to uh, show you. It's on the DDL website. And I'm going to use my laptop this time. I did not print it. It is not an email that uh, we get from uh, DDL. So let me enter my password here, 1234. So, this is the update here and this is uh, on the DDL website you can see right here and this is for Vector so let's have a look at Vector first and then we will talk about uh, Cosmo and it's not too long I'm going to read it and again I know many of you guys don't see this if you have a Vector of course you're interested to know what's going on if you're thinking of buying a Vector or a Cosmo you want to see what's going on also right so update as of March 31st, 2022, there are uh, four sections. Factory in China reopened. If you missed the previous update, March 18, I think, there was a problem because of COVID. The contract manufacturer has reopened after the most recent COVID lockdowns in China, and the factory is now back in operation. Our engineers have had several extensive meetings with factory engineers to bring them up to speed on current developments with calibration along with providing updated documentation and instructions. Okay, so the factory is reopened. Battery testing. Optimization for the battery has been delayed by work on the camera calibration. It was necessary to resolve the camera issues first as our team needs the prototypes to be able to pick up cubes, recognize faces, etc. In order to fully simulate standard usage and be able to more accurately gauge how our optimizations are affecting the new batteries. Third section, camera hardware changes. You noted that, hardware changes, not software, not calibration. Several customers had questions on the model of camera included with Vector and Cosmo that our team wanted to address. Previously, it had been expected that we, we, we were moving to a 5 megapixel camera for Vector. Our team did a full investigation of the involvement this change would require and ultimately we made the decision to revert to the 2 megapixel camera. The decision was made to avoid changes that would have been required to the electronic headboard of the robot, which would have caused further delays. Thankfully, the issues that our team initially experienced with the 2 megapixel camera have been resolved and the results of the 2 megapixel camera are what you see below in this update. I'll show you the pictures in a few seconds. Item number four, changes to display cover. With the new calibration and distortion reduction, we no longer have to make changes to the display cover. See the section below for more details. So the camera, we were all happy, and I said that many months ago when we heard that DDL would go from the existing 2 megapixel camera to 5 megapixel. I thought it was good news. The idea was to make face recognition better for Vector and Cosmo, but they're going back to 2 megapixels. So that's not, that's not good news, let's face it. Camera calibration is the last uh, paragraph. It's too long to read. Uh, way too long. So I'm going to show you here what they're doing here with the picture. We can see that with the side camera right there. See that here? So they're showing a side picture and if I scroll down you can see here all the pictures they're showing for the camera calibration. 
So, guys, uh, oh, before I, uh, I give you my comments, let's have a look at the uh, update on uh, Cosmo. I know many of you has, have a Cosmo and not a Vector. So, for Cosmo, factory in China reopened, same thing. Battery testing, same thing. Camera hardware changes, unfortunately, same thing. They're going back from 5 to 2 megapixel camera. Changes to display cover. Uh, don't know this was something with Cosmo, but same thing. Camera calibration, same thing. Pictures, same thing. So it's the same update for Cosmo 2.0. So guys, I'm going to ask you a question. A $1 million question. Yeah, I know. I, it looks like I'm wealthy with my million dollar questions, right? I'm, I was up to $4 million before. What is not covered in this update? What did you say? Shipping, <laughs> yeah, ship. I don't know what to say right now. It's an update, but there is no update on shipping. So the update, in a nutshell, is the China uh, manufacturer reopened, but reopened to do what? They're not making robots because they're still testing the battery and the camera calibration. And the update was also the bad news for about the camera going back from two from five to two megapixel. But in terms of shipping, there is no update. So I don't know why DDL is not giving an update. They used to, if you remember in my previous videos, like I'm talking here, uh, three months ago, last fall, 2021, six months ago, uh, summer, 2021. You, you go to my playlist, you will see all my videos on coding for Cosmo and Vector, they're all there. So um, I don't know why DDL is not giving a, an update. So uh, guys, in case you are new to my channel, I present the vacation house for Cosmo and it fits perfectly. I designed that with uh, Fusion 360 uh, software. It is for free if you want to download, if you have a 3D printer, have fun. It's on uh, Thingiverse.com, this one. And this is the famous, I say famous, it's been around now for like, what, two years? I did that also with Fusion 360. Designed for Vector, Vector fits perfectly in the castle. This one is on CGTrader.com. It's a lot of work, so I'm charging $3 for that file. And again, you can print it if you have a 3D printer. So that's my update. My update is more interesting than the update from DDL, don't you think so? So, guys, um, that's all I have to say. Please don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot me. If you don't like the video, okay, give me a thumb down. But if you are unhappy because your robot is delayed, uh, I mean, don't shoot the messenger. That's all I want to say, <laughs> okay? Thank you guys for watching and I hope that um, in the future or in the near future I'll have an update to give you on shipping because right now there is nothing on shipping like I said. So um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. See you next time. Goodbye guys.